111 Ornamental Plants and Flowers Creation. For supplies and lawn landscaping, ornamental plants, and indoor plants, visit Jinsis 111 at very affordable prices. Today's feature is about Coleus Blumet, planting and propagating at Jinsis 111. The plant's common name is Mayana or Bagnaja in our local Sergaonan dialect. Coleus plants or Coleus Blumet are tropical plants that are mainly grown for their leaves. They were also called painted nettle or poor man's cotton. These plants are easy to grow and have very colorful leaves. They are very popular choice for many areas, being the center of attention due to the beautiful foliage. Full sun exposure is ideal for the growth of these plants. Regular fertilizing is needed every two weeks to promote the healthy growth. The fertilizer used should be a liquid fertilizer or one that is water soluble. Special care should be taken about the fact that these plants do not get infected by spider, mites, and bugs. Some varieties can withstand the hot sun while others prefer part shade. They tend to propagate more effectively in moist soil. Mayana leaves is a medicinal plant that can handle numerous kinds of ailments such as ulcer, to serious illnesses such as diabetes, and hemorrhoids. This plant is one of the traditionally used folkloric medicine and is primarily used for pain, sore, swelling, and cuts too. And in other instances, a supplemental medication for delayed menstruation and diarrhea. These traditional uses of Mayana are scientifically supported by studies here and abroad. How to plant Coleus Blumay? Hi! May buntag sa tanan nga nakakita na yung video karon. Now I would like to show you the Genesis 111 simple way of planting ornamental plants. Particularly Coleus Blumay or so first, you cut fresh polyus uh, plants, uh, this one, uh, at this height of about uh, eight, 8 inches or 6 or 5 inches. Then prepare the planting medium. For Genesis 111, this is our secret. The planting medium is composed of small stones as matting uh, at the flooring of the pot. Then 40% topsoil, which is a uh, sandy loam. Then another 40% of compost used as organic fertilizer and soil conditioner and then 20% rice hulls to loosen soils every time to avoid compacting soil or medium and this is the pot that I am going to plant before putting this material you have to mix it and have to mix it in a basin so I will put first the top soil sandy loop so well and then add the compost material the 40% compost material after that add the 20% rice hulls I am going to mix it thoroughly so I'm mixing it thoroughly using a hand towel so we are using hand towel Okay, after mixing the planting medium, now this is the pot, uh, small pot, but enough for planting Coleus Brumae. So first, I'll put the small stones inside the pot as matting 
this will perfectly allow greening of water. Iparadili malata. Then, to putting the pating, you place the mix to your own. Upsoil, compost, and rice hands. Okay. Almost fill it. Almost full. mixture just enough for one pot okay after that you label it put a hole about three to four inches hole plant the fresh cutting so full use blooming uh, arrange it but it looks good so for us we, we plant this four or five cuttings so that it will look good when it grows. Normally, you have to put more water at the soil medium to compact it carefully so that the soil will settle. And then the plant should be carefully watered using a spring can or a spring bottle. Okay. With it, from this thing, all the leaves should be moved. This is it. Then, let the plant stay at the shade. Don't, don't expose it sunlight yet for at least 10 days. So, put it in the shade. After 10 days, then you can put it uh, semi-shade or expose it to sunlight. Thank you so much. Oh, salamat. Here are some of Genesis 111 propagated Collius Blume in pots at 50 pesos per pot.
some of Genesis 1.11 propagated coleus blume in polyethylene bags at 20 pesos per bag.